Hello, YouTube. Badger here. And Aaron, too. Um, we're here with a podcast. I and, just uh, sat back. Yeah, what? Sat back? Sat back. Chill back. Yeah. And, um, well, today is the 27th of December. Today's the 27th. It's been three days. I've been sitting in the cardboard box. I've been eating rat tails. Can't stand my own stench. The zombie infection hasn't stopped. Yesterday I saw a cat eating another cat. But that was just on my pornography channel. What else I saw? <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Go back there. Come on. What? Say that again. I think it's better that you don't know about my pornography collection. Okay. Um. As the phone goes off for a perfect recording moment. Yeah. I'm gonna silence. Silence, I kill you, phone. You, you should probably... I don't know if yours is, but... Um... Oh, yeah. I'm gonna do that. Anyways. Yeah, we're eating. Yeah, we're eating some, like, cookies and, and popcorn and stuff. But, <laughs> so, this is, you know, December 27th, 2014, and, uh, Christmas just ended, so we... we what did you get for Christmas? Alright, well, hmm. I got the new Kindle, uh, Amazon tablet. Kindle Fire HD 7, is it? Yeah, Kindle Fire HD 7. The, uh, I got $200, um, 150 on Amazon. Other 50 is just, uh, in bills. Then, uh, the Xbox One that came with the Assassin's Creed bundle, and I got the copy of GTA 5. Uh, got some pretty swanky clothes. I got the original board game, uh, from, uh, the Batman Returns movie from 1992 or whatever. I think it's somewhere around that. 1992, I think that's right. And, um, yeah, I, and then I got some pretty cool clothes. My dad got me the Dark Knight movie collection. It came with all three of them, some signed artwork, and, uh, it's so a limited... Were they on, were, were they on they're, they're all on Blu-ray, yeah. You should bring them... Oh, wait, you have an Xbox One. Yeah, they're, they're all limited... We can watch them, too. I mean, they're all limited edition, um, and it comes with, like, these models, and... There's only a certain amount of them made, so it, it was pretty cool. And then uh, I got my stuff, my dad some stuff for Christmas as well. Didn't really go shopping for a lot of people, mm. so it's so, kind of short of cash at the time. Um, well, I got my Xbox One a while ago, but it kind of as a Christmas gift, so I got that. I got a new monitor, as we can well, see right now. Well, you guys can't see it. No, but we. Can. Um. I got Super Smash Bros. for Wii U. I got um, a Wii U Pro controller. I got another um, Xbox One controller. Three HD films. Um, yeah, I got the Hobbit. Um, it was a Desolation of Smog. The second, that's the second one. Desolation of um, Smog on, on Blu-ray. I got the Lord of the Rings, Rings, the three movies on DVD. And I also got um, Guardians of the Galaxy on Blu-ray. So you guys didn't know the Xbox One can play Blu-ray movies, so that's pretty cool. Yeah, I didn't know that until um, yeah. until he yeah. told me. So now I can watch my. Uh, Oh, and I got Batman and Son, which is an uh, animated DC film. Um, I also got Pokemon uh, Omega Ruby on 3DS. Oh, that's right. Got a year of Xbox Live. Oh, yeah. Um, I got some like Steam gift cards and an Xbox gift card as well. Um, and a bunch of money, obviously. Clothes is always the standard. So, got some of that too. You got some pretty swanky clothes, like this here sweatshirt that nobody can see except Jacob. <laughs> yeah. Um, so yeah, that's pretty good Christmas. I and with some of my money, I bought a copy of GTA Five on Xbox One. So now me and him can play it together and not record it <laughs> because I don't have a capture card. Well, you do. It just doesn't work. Yeah. Well, I'm saying I didn't get a new capture card for Christmas, so like, yeah, I still can't record Xbox One. Like I've got enough money to get. Uh, I mean, I can save that fifty dollars and use that hundred fifty to get an HD capture card. And I just don't really want to blow all my money on it. Yeah, it's the same here. I can buy it. I can buy the um, Elgato HG60, but I kind of just want to wait until our subscriber count gets to a good amount, where people actually care for us to get that kind of gameplay out. Yeah. Plus, one major game I think I'd record is uh, Minecraft. I mean, Minecraft, Lego Batman Three, but he can just get that on Steam and we can record it over here. Yeah. As a co-op thing, kind of like. Uh, we were gonna do Lego Indian. We were doing Lego Indian Jungle, we just kind of stopped. And now, now we can't finish it anyway. I don't have. 
Yeah, yeah. Sure. and I'm pretty sure that save got deleted. I think it did. Did it? I no, I'm sure. I'm, I probably still have the save. All right, sweet. But and um, I'm kind of upset because um, to get my Xbox One, I had to get rid of a few games, and uh, my Arkham game collection uh, went away. I am getting Arkham Knight for sure. Oh, and by the way, we didn't actually say this in the video. The reason his Arkham was, was it City, City video has disappeared, and he's not going to continue that, is because there's copyright on the videos. I don't know what it was. I think it was the music in the background. It is. It was. Alright. Well, so, I don't know what it was, but... Even if we have a capture bike card by then, I don't think we'll be able to do a play of Arkham Knight. Well, just turn down the sound. Turn down the... Uh, no, I mean, I turn off the music. Yeah. I mean, the ambiance of the city in the background will still be the same. And plus, I mean, I, some of the music for that is annoying. And uh, they are using some of Arkham City's music. Which, I mean, the Arkham City music is good on its own. But, you know, it's no John Williams work, though. Okay. It's pretty close, but... They made the music in Star Wars, right? Yeah. Okay, uh, I was, I was Harry, making sure I was Harry Potter, right. Star Wars, Indiana Jones, um, Superman. I mean... I haven't seen the Superman movies. But... You know, the Christopher Reeves one are so cheesy... And the, I, I mean, no offense to anybody who likes those movies. I I can't stand the Christopher Reeve Superman movies. You think the um, Batman versus Superman is gonna be good though? Yeah, except we all know what we're gonna see. We're gonna see them fight. There, something bad's gonna happen. They're gonna have to team up and work up to team up and work together. And then there's so many, excuse me, there's so many other superheroes that are being rumored to be in the movie. They're just gonna team up with them. And then the Justice League's gonna start. And then the next movie's gonna be Justice League because it's been rumored Wonder Woman's in it. Then rumored Aquaman's in it. Then rumored um, Captain Marvel's in it. I mean, Shazam. Same thing. It's been rumored... Uh, you might hate me for this, but I'm kind of more of a Marvel guy. See, I don't hate you for being a Marvel guy. But <clears throat> I just... Like, I, I understand a, there's been a lot more Marvel fans since Guardians of the Galaxy came out. And there's a lot of people who like Spider-Man. But and, it's like... And, and but the thing is, there's been a lot of more... Um, from what I know, there's been a lot of more Marvel movies coming out. Too. Just like with the, all the Iron Man movies, the Thor, oh. and Captain America. Yeah. Um, Marvel does have a lot of movies consistently coming out, but also DC has them slowly coming out, but they're good. I don't like the Iron Man movies, I don't like the Thor movies, and I definitely didn't like the Captain America movies. I loved all of them. The only movie I like. Yeah, I didn't, even, I didn't even like the Avengers that much. The Avengers, I mean, I'm not trying to ask for hate. Avengers was okay, but it's like, it's because, I, I think it's, it's just because I've been such a big um, DC Comics fan, and I know so much story lore and, like, background to all the characters, and then when I go and watch a DC movie, I mean, a Marvel movie, you know, it's like, I, I don't know anything. It's like so... See, I barely know anything either. It's boring. I just, I don't know. I enjoyed watching them. I don't... I don't know. Just that's it. Get out of that. Uh, you know, because I see. Here's the thing. I can't really make a long conversation about this simply because I never really read the comics of anything. I don't well, really know much about. It. All I know of is like what I see in the movies. I don't go into any of the background lore at all. Well, it. I mean, it's not even storyline based or lore based. It's also DC makes darker decisions with their movies. Watchmen is a is a DC comics thing. You know, and Watchmen is a really creepy movie. That movie's dark. Deadpool is going to be coming out, and that's, I mean, it's not really dark. It's funny, but it's brutal, but it's not dark. Whereas Watchmen and Batman, they are just dark and disturbing and evil, and then Marvel can't make anything dark, disturbing, and evil. I mean, I think, I think the darkest they've gotten is probably Hulk. And, the, and, and, you know, the Hulk movies aren't even dark. DC likes to go further in and make things darker. And uh, I don't know if it's just me, but I don't know. Well, that's why DC doesn't get as much credit, because their books, their movies, their everything, they go dark. They go dark, evil, scary, and disturbing. Like, in the comic books, even, Joker gets his face cut off. Um... Barbara Gordon gets shot in the legs and gets her spinal cord like destroyed. Disturbing things happen in DC, and just people don't like things like that. People like happy endings. 
and happy endings can't always happen. And DC is they're realistic and they're dark and you know what? Batman is a childhood everything Marvel and DC does, they can turn teenager with their movies and they can turn childish with their cartoons and you know but aside from Batman the Brave and the Bold um, Batman Beyond, the animated series, and Beware the Batman. Oh, and V Batman. Those were all dark TV shows. Those were all really dark TV shows. Like there was, there was a little bit of comedy in all of them, but they were still dark and had a, a kind of a more evil sense to them. That's why, that's why DC doesn't. That's why DC doesn't have as many shows. We don't anymore. I mean, because DC barely has any more animated shows on TV anymore. Because Teen Titans. That was dark. Young well, Justice, they finished that on Netflix. That Honestly, was I, I haven't been watching a whole lot of TV. But for me, it seems like animated shows are kind of dying anyway. But, yeah, oh, oh wait. Um, Arrow. Gotham. Those are good shows. I haven't seen them. Oh, That's my God. Arrow season one and two are on Netflix. That's good. You know Netflix has, has um, some TV shows that like are only on Netflix? Yeah, I actually heard about that. It's um, Marco I Polo. I haven't, I haven't gotten to watch any of them, but I know there's um, House of Cards, which is like Kevin Spacey. Kevin Spacey, yeah, I, my I dad watched it. I haven't it seen it, but I, but I was going to watch it eventually. I think my dad watched it. Um, uh, there's this like weird, I don't remember what it was called, but there's something about a horse. It's like it's like a cartoon. Mm -hmm. I know you're talking about. It looks kind of funny, actually. It, 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 it does seem kind of funny. I, I wanted to watch that. I could never find it on Netflix, though, because I always forget the name of it when I go it, on there. This is how you find um, that stuff. Just in the search bar, just type in originals. It's all of Netflix originals. Oh, really? Yeah, just type in originals. See, it's an adult TV show, but it seems like. See, the thing is, is that since they're like, since exclusives are just on Netflix, they can do whatever they want. They don't have to worry about things being censored because it's their own stuff. It's not yeah. on TV. So. So they can do anything. They can show they things. Can they can literally just make a porno and it'd be fine. <laughs> they, can, they can make a porno. It's fine because it's on Netflix. Exactly. Which actually, I think they do have some some movies like that on Netflix. Well, yeah, I mean, movies show movies show body parts. Movies have sex scenes and uncensored sex they, scenes, they, and they show them on movies on Netflix because Netflix. Well, they always they always cut that out of the TV version. Yeah, cause, well, because it's the FCC that does that. I don't know why the FCC it has things. But like, I think it's because it doesn't block it on Netflix, but of, it blocks it on. Because um, I think it's because a lot YouTube. of times more. Um, and it doesn't more, work enough, more children it more children have access to like TV right and they can just go on it and just see anything randomly where it takes a little bit more of having stuff to get onto Netflix well so does it with YouTube though and yet they, the FCC can't take stuff off YouTube I mean don't get me wrong but you posting should, assassinations you... and killing people is wrong but maybe showing some boobies ain't so bad on the on the YouTube well no the reason that's that's censored from YouTube it isn't the FCC it's, it's Google that's your that's your terms of service. Don't open that. That's that's not good. Oh. Okay, um, yeah, no, that's a that's against the YouTube terms of service. You can't have porn on, on YouTube. Well, no, it's not even porn where somebody takes their shirt off. There's nothing wrong with that. Yeah, there is nothing wrong with that. So. Oh, okay. I didn't know that. All right. Well, kitties, we've learned a good lesson today. There is a such thing as woman boobies on YouTube. Well, there is. I'm, I'm sure I've seen stuff like that on YouTube before. Alright. Uh, not actual porn, but... <laughs> I wasn't asking for that. There are websites for that. We don't need that. Yeah, it's like... Yeah. It's like... They that get, that they can stay off of YouTube. <laughs> yeah, that can stay off YouTube. I, I, I don't really... I don't enjoy seeing that kind of thing, even in thumbnails when I'm trying to watch YouTube. Uh, hey, that's a nasty thumbnail. Thanks for that. You know, like passing stuff by. Cause you don't, you no, don't, you, you want to know why people do that? Why? Clickbait. Oh yeah, it's clickbait. Because like if if there's it's, a video if there's a video saying it's, boobs, it's got a picture, it's got a thumbnail I boobs. You, we're gonna click on it. I bet you. The they can, so we can do a test where it's the same video, um, like same title and same everything, but they have two different thumbnails and just put like a room of this people and group and have them browse through this list of videos and have another person browse through this list of videos and they're all the same videos, but we can probably see like one one of them one of the videos will have boobs on it and the other one one won't. For the thumbnail. For the thumbnail. And people will probably click on the room Even though it's the same exact video. Well, no, I don't, sure. think, I don't think people would do that on an actual desktop because it's hard to delete history off that where you can just do it on mobile. 
I mean, if it's not hard you, if you know what you're doing. No, I mean it's not hard, but like if you it's, let people do it, talk, you know more yeah. But if you let if you let, let people do it on mobile and then let people do it on um, desktop and, and see what kind of reactions you get, because there there are people who who don't like to use desktop. So just myself, no, okay. Um, I mean, there are people who feel more secure with using mobile devices. I'm not saying I'm one of them because I don't need to click on thumbnails because I know it's not a lot on YouTube, but. You know, yeah, this is, this, is an awkward, this is an awkward subject. Maybe I should just start putting a bunch of boobs in my thumbnails <laughs> so you get more views. Boobs on your thumbnails. So you get more views. Hello, everybody. Where's the boobs? <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Like somebody would be, just be like, oh, hey, boobs in the thumbnail, and it's like a uh, podcast of sexiness, and they click on it, and it's got a boobs thumbnail. And it just Show me your tits. <laughs> <laughs> what if it's like? What if like it starts off the video and it's like um, the Duke Nukem mission where all the girls are walking around with like the stars on their boobs? No wait, it's not stars. It's like the. So, sometimes they have no boobs. Oh, no, 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 no. I thought it just. I the, thought they the, had mi the missions later. They're they're like, um, they're just like walking around in like because they got abducted by aliens and you save them. Oh really? Yeah, and they're just walking around with nothing. Oh, that's lovely. I mean, like, uh, that, that, isn't that probing or whatever? Well, they're like, it was weird because they're like, it's been so long since I played that, but they were like inside this weird alien. Duke Nukem thing. Forever. Duke, yeah, Duke Nukem Forever. That was, uh, that was Xbox 360, wasn't it? Yeah. Everyone hated that game. Everyone thought it was a really good piece of shit ever. Because you could only hold two games, two guns in that game. It's retarded. Because it's like, in all the other Duke Nukem games, you could hold like seven or eight of them, and it was like, <gasps> Like you could hold as many no, you could hold as many guns as you had, and then in that version you could only hold two. And it was like, it was a like really disappointing game. I'm pretty sure nobody played the multiplayer. Like I, I didn't I play it. Oh, did you? Yeah, of course you did. Oh, okay. Well, at least it was bad. I mean, as long I, as it was but bad, I enjoyed what they played at the campaign though. Everyone did it tough. Everyone hated it. Well, because they're probably previous Duke Nukem fans. Because like, there's always a generation of people who play through a game. But the thing is, is that the, the whole the whole point of that game is trying to make up the fans for not having a game for ten years. Yeah, but look at Banjo Kazooie nuts and bolts. Yeah. There's my example. Case closed. <laughs> okay. No, but you know Duke Nukem Forever was actually in development for ten years, right? It's not like they just developed in the last few years. Before. No, it was actually in development for the whole ten years. You know that, right? Like, they were actually working on it for the whole 10 years. Right? I actually didn't know where. So you mean they knew there was going to be a next-gen console, like the 360, that they could put that good graphic game on? Like, this, I mean, there was probably a lot of setbacks. Through, yeah, because they're like, oh, okay, so we're going to make this game for this. And they're like, oh, we can add this in. Oh, we can add this in. Oh, this is going to take some time, but we'll add it in. And then as soon as they're about to add it in, it's like, oh, new console. And they're like, oh, we'll scrap it and we'll make a new one. And then, That's what's been going on in Battlefront. And they were like, oh, hey, we can't we can't add that in. That Battle doesn't Front, work. Battlefront 3 went to, like, um, they, they, they people... I want Battlefront 3 because I want to walk around in a battlefield like the game Battlefield with a lightsaber. It's Battlefield with lightsabers and spaceships. Come on! Yeah, but here's the thing. Battle, okay, so I know there's a... Battlefront that's coming out next year is going to come out. I, I know. It's not EA. You're not going to want that. But, um, the Battlefront 3 has actually been started development and canceled more than once, and it's been handed off to separate different developers more than once. There's been it's been canceled like three times. Yeah, we're we're sticking with EA though, right? Like we're not going to a different company. Though. Like for I, I I think it's gonna stick with EA because I want to be able to drive. I want to be like do the 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 terrorist attack of uh, Nabu and like slam a spaceship through a. Uh, uh, you know, a little sand hut and be able to break through the sea. No, I don't know if it's just me, but snowy maps always look great in Battlefield, and I can't wait to see that Hoth. Hoth. Dude, Hoth. <laughs> Hoth in Battlefront 3 is going to be amazing. Yeah, it's going to be... Like, for some reason, my only vision of Battlefront 3 is just, like, 60, uh, 32 and 32, a bunch of people um, on Hoth, like, there's a bunch of people with lightsabers running around the ground, and then there's a bunch of, like, AT-ATs shooting each other. That's all I can think of, and like, when, like someone going in with a, with like a fighter and just like crashing into one of the at ats and having it like be super detailed destruction, because it's Battlefield. Pretty See, much. what I'm, a, what I, what I want, what I can imagine when I think of Battlefield is like first person, Luke Skywalker faces reflecting well, yeah, in the it, front it, window. It's gonna, it's gonna be, 
a lot like Battlefield. I can tell you this. Now. Yeah, no, I know that, but it's gonna be like it's gonna, it's still gonna be like next gen. So like, you're gonna be Luke Skywalker, and you're gonna be like in a um, in one of those snow snow spaceships that they had on Hoth, the snow speeders that they used to take you down think the ATATs. Probably. And like it's first person, like you can see your face reflecting in the window as Luke Skywalker. It looks like Mark Hamill. And like you're, and it's like it's gonna be all direct quotes from the movie, and you're gonna be like driving well, okay, it, so and you're gonna be going the, around the, the movie, ATAT. Or the game is actually, um, so it's tying into the new movie somehow. Oh well, then uh, everybody, your dreams just got crushed. No Luke Skywalker and uh, Darth Vader fighting in the Death Star. Well, it's not okay. It's not like the, it's not like the same story as a new movie, but it has like some like. So you mean so it's gonna have some relevance, like the lightsabers it's a, it's and the a, weapons it's, and like, the like, sound I think effects. It's a separate. It's a separate story. But like it's it connect, it connects to it somehow. Well, yeah, I mean that's how. No, 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 I I think it might be like a Battlefront two, how the story was just connecting to, um, well, Star Wars so, one, two, and three. But it was just connecting to it, and then you it wasn't have, actually that story. No, 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 it was that story, but it was during another time. It was when other people were doing things, like battles that were going on during that time period. But you're playing as just a I random. Th- I person. think that's gonna be something like that. Yeah, that's like, what I'm saying. But Battlefront two was awesome, and then like when you could turn into a Jedi or a or somebody, and then what I want out of anything is when you can play as like any hero or villain and choose a team. Because you can and, play in third, third person. And you and you can play in third person or first person and just go against each other, just go Wait, off at each other. First person in the... No, you can't play as a first person as a Jedi, and I want to see that on next gen. But that's the thing. How would double jumping work? Like, cause you would, like spin around. It would be kind of like a, well, maybe they just wouldn't do the spinning around in first person. Yeah, it's just yeah, but then you like you see like. What I'd want is your arms out further, so like you can see your arm moving Or maybe further. They, would, they would just wouldn't do the spinning around. No, I mean no, no. I'm fine with the no spinning around thing, but still. Oh wait, no, no, no. no. You didn't spin around. You would just like you. Your arms would spread out, and your legs would go straight up, and you oh, like yeah. make a sudden movement up. You like dun 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 dun. Like you'd be like boom 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 boom. Like, but I really hope they. Uh, it'd be cool if they made a campaign like some co-op. <laughs> co-op. <yeah>. Up. Uh, <laughs> all right. Uh, Anna, Anna can go over there and slice off those uh, those clone troopers' heads. I'm gonna, I mean, no, those droids' heads. I'm gonna uh, yeah, Obi Wan Kenobi. I'm gonna go up here and s- cut up all these. Uh, I'm gonna cut open this door. Like sitting there first person, like it's a quick time event. Hit A. <laughs> hit B. <laughs> hit C. <laughs> oh wait, there's no C. Hit A. C. <laughs> hit B. <laughs> hit RB. <B. laughs> <laughs> well, there is a C on B. There's a C on PC. There's on also you? a P on PC. <laughs> there's, a, there's a C in, uh, on the... Is there also an X and an Y? An X and a Y. Well, there's every letter in the alphabet. <laughs> Damn, we don't have those many buttons. <laughs> Whoa. I'm totally going to get it on PC, though. I always like Battlefield on PC. This part is going to be done. We have 11 buttons. You have 26. Well, actually, no, 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 here's the well, thing. Well, but then we also have all these buns on here. But, well, I mean, it's mostly the alphabet and the two. But things, actually, so twenty-nine. actually, something you should know is there is... Okay. There is... You, you think about how many... Oh, yeah, you have to click those, too. So there's there's um, there's um eight directions on two sticks. No, the so directions don't do anything, though. The directions aren't the same. They're all separate inputs. There's eight directions Shut on two sticks. There, there, there's eight directions on both sticks, so that's uh, 16. There's two clicks, so that's 18. Four buttons, that's 24. 24. 20, yeah, 22. And then 26. And then D-pad. And then D-pad. So 30. 30. And then um, there's the... Start, so, no, no, no. Select and start, start doesn't count. Select does something. Select. Select start does something. Too. Start pauses the game, but that doesn't... Oh, wait. 32. And, and then you also the uh, Xbox Guide button is an, uh, another button. So that's... Uh, yeah, I mean, three. not all of us contribute 30, to the game. And then, and then sync button, 34. Uh, come on. <laughs> 34. There's 34 <laughs> directions of input. Where on this... Oh, direction of input. There, those are... Okay. And well, I mean, for some games, you don't use all 26 of the letters. So, I mean... No, how would you? How would the only you, game how that would I know the, that you, you actually play the game with well, with different amounts of uh, input. Uh, I mean, diff- different kinds of uh, a different amount of uh, input. What are they called? Input. Input. Uh, I don't even. The, the I, was button, saying, the, I was just saying. I was just saying. But okay. <laughs> How are you said it? The imp- 
Okay. Blah, 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 blah. There's eight directions of input on, on yeah. these sticks. The directions of input on the uh, controller, like how many you have on the controller, you, you need the same amount on. Oh, but no, moving around is different with the mouse. Yeah, with the mouse, I don't know how so many you have directions less. Would be. You have less buttons on the mouse. On the computer. Not really, because you can move the mouse any way. You have more. You have more control over that. Also, I mean, yes, for for moving, yes, because you only have W A S and D. Mm. Yeah. No, wait. You still have four. And then you four. need the. Okay, so that this is this is putting that stick down well, to one. Well, actually, actually that no, one. no, no, no. Wait, never mind. There is a because if you hit W N A or W N D. What about it? If you press it. If you press them at the same time, that's another direction. Right? So there is actually eight. Uh, there, so there is actually eight. Confusing. So oh, wait, there, yeah, there there still is eight. Oh yeah. And then oh wait. There still is eight. Yeah. Don't don't break yeah, your yeah. brain over. Don't break your brain over. <laughs> there still is eight. <laughs> okay? Confusing me, Jacob. You're confuzzling me with your computer information. But uh, your brains. Okay. I like playing first person shooters on PC with keyboard and mouse, but there is some games that I'd rather play with a controller. <coughs> Lego that, games. That is Lego games, <laughs> Lord of the Rings, and and uh, platformers. Well, I mean, any sort of platformer. Platformers are kind of. I mean, that's two D or three D. Doesn't matter. You need. To yeah, you you need it though. I mean, like, the because the thing about platformers is that it's not really an option. Instead of when you use WASD, it's like not. A lot of times, it's just not accurate enough for a platformer. So, when I play like Sonic. Or something like that, I use a controller. It's, it's just a so. Ah. Alright, so let's let's change the subject. Ooh! I can change the subject pretty easily. Er, er, I'll change it pretty easily. I'm gonna sound like, um, what's the lead singer from Creed? Uh, Scott Staff. <laughs> or I'll change the toppers pretty easily. Or Brian. Um, <clears throat> I didn't say anything. Um, so, the story time. Storytime commentary, haven't done that in forever. Um, it's not really storytime commentary, but um, I guess it is. When this is relating to Christmas, I was in How I Met My Best Friend. Uh, I guess there's I guess there's two. How I Met My Best Friend. Me? N no, Carl. Me? Carl's my best friend. Me? Stop, get away from me. <laughs> um, I met him, I went to a acting camp. <laughs> I went to an acting camp uh, when I was seven or eight so I mean it's it's been eight years six uh, eight seven years <laughs> math years seven or eight years and um yeah. went to an acting camp mm -hmm. and um my, my, my best friend Carl and we're still friends today actually really he's close friends because I mean pretty much see him every other week yep. and we were in this acting group that his, his father owned and so I was there for a good amount of time, and then five years later, so this is relevant to the other story, um, he, he was off, he, he wanted me to do a play or something with him, and I joined, and then he wasn't there, huh. and then it was, it was winter, it was a winter play, and I just got my iPod Touch for Christmas, a little later, because I got it, and I had practice the next week. Except it wasn't really the next week. It was like uh, it was Sunday, so I had, I had it on Tuesday. Two days later, and I went to the acting camp, and I was there with my new iPad iPod Touch, and I was running around, and then <clears throat> I was recording a vlog for my old YouTube channel, and then I bump into my one friend, and I'm like, "Hey, dude, it's a vlog," and he goes, "Ah," and he he, he was messing around because he was. He, he was kind of broke, didn't he? No, he was kind of crazy, and he flipped my um, my iPod out of my hand, and it flops over, and like smashed onto the ground, and I picked it up completely fine. That iPod, the one right in front of you. Oh, so that's from 2012. It's the only time I've ever heard someone drop an iPod like that, and it still survived. I know, right? And it was on a, it was in a gym, and he like hit it, and it like flipped around. Although I've dropped my iPhone 5C onto concrete, and it's fine. Yeah, I've, I've, dude, I've dropped that on concrete so many times. It's, I just, I don't even but know yeah, how people's break. That was kind of an uh, irrelevant, like, two-story tie-in. But it was just, like, why I was in an acting camp in the first place. And why I was even, why I even joined and met, actually, 
for once, I'm gonna thank my mother because um, I joined for the that, only time. I joined. <laughs> I joined that acting camp because my mother got uh, got me and my sisters in for free, and there, we were we were going to a community center, the community center I I go to the gym at, <clears throat> and um, there was a pool there, and she's like, oh, if you come and you go to the camp for a little while and meet all the other kids, you can go swim at the pool for free. Is it Warren? Yeah, it's the yeah, I've been there. Yeah, and so I was like, oh, okay. So I joined the camp, met my friend Carl, and then I ended up uh, doing plays for that camp because, uh, you know, we hung out a lot. And he, he was like, oh, you want to do this play? I'm like, yeah. And every time he asks me to do a play, I, I go to it and he's not there. And then the one time he tells me, oh, yeah, come join the play. And I'm like, I'm like, oh, okay. And he's like, oh, wait a second. I might have to do this for school. I have a project. He goes, I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm like, oh, okay. So I don't join. And then guess what? He's in it. I'm like, oh, okay. Okay, I see how it is. So then I try to hang out with him. He's like, oh, well, I'm at practice right now. I'm like, oh, okay. And then the next day, I'm like, hey, you want to hang out? Uh, sorry, I got practice tomorrow, and I got to do some schoolwork. And it wasn't even, it's not even that he was he was avoiding it. He was just, he actually had schoolwork, because he goes to a Catholic school. And so, you know, he's got way more homework. And he's also a grade ahead of us. So he's got a buttload of work to do. And then let alone what he's done with that work. He's got he he's got to go to a, you know he's got to go to practice and then he had it on set it was on Saturdays too because when I was in it it was Tuesdays Thursdays and Saturdays so it was he was busy with his homework and that and then the next day he had to do his homework and then he could have alone time which is completely understandable and then during the weekend he had okay no oh my oh my okay okay. All right, that's that's completely inappropriate. I, I don't want that in my podcast. Stop fapping in the mic. <laughs> that's nasty. Anyways, um, so yeah. <laughs> well, that Moving was an on. interesting conversation. Ended moving with on. a fap. <laughs> anyway, moving on. So, um, so how's your day? So, how's, how's your, your day? <laughs> no. It's not a two-person thing. That's my thing. Don't don't copy me. Sure. Okay. I'm not copying you. Okay. Well. Don't talk to the people in my podcast. This is my podcast. Don't talk to my audience. Back around with your GameCube control. How do you like it? You want to know why a part of it is, like seems to be bitten off on the con- on the console? Hunter. Because Hunter bit it off. Hunter. You know what, that seems so, like, I always, like, I'll be sitting there, I'll be watching TV with somebody, or I'll be, like, um, you, the plastic, like, the rubber on the Nintendo 64 controller, my friends used to bite on that, and then, um, the TV remote, there used to be, like, really, like, thick rubber buttons, and my sister would bite on it, I'd be like, what are you doing? Like, the power button was half off, I'm like, can't turn it on, and I'm like, I hate, like, oh, okay, so 100 was, like, 4 then, but still... It's what? Like, he was like four, but still. Oh. <laughs> like. Okay. He was just, he was just like, and he just bit it. I'm like, what are you doing? You're breaking my controller, dude! Stop! And now I don't have any other working GameCube controller. That's the only one I, the only, the only very shitty one I have. That's been bitten by a four-year-old. Yes. Well, I mean, a four-year-old that's now a 13-year-old. Yes. <laughs> Yeah, I'm so. surprised this controller lasted that long, to be honest. It still works, it's just really shitty now. Oh, that's... that's I, my other controller, this one, this Wavebird controller, the wireless one, it doesn't work anymore, it won't turn on. That's nice. So, I got a tablet for Christmas, I, I, I brought it with me and I've been sitting here all day and I haven't touched it. That's nice. That's nice. We should, we should turn it on. Oh, oh that's nice. Yeah. Five Nights at Freddy's and Injustice Gods Among Us, that's... That is the mobile app that you need to survive the zombie box. Do you have finance of Freddy's? What, what? You have it, then? Yeah, it's the full game. Cool. Yeah. Maybe mm-hmm. we'll play it afterwards. Maybe. 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 I was going to buy it on Steam, but I'm like, nah, I'm going to play it once and never open it. So <laughs> yeah, I'm going to play it once, crap my pants after playing it for five minutes, and then never play it for the rest of my life. So what's the point? Exactly. <laughs> I was just, gonna buy Outlast like, yeah, as well, but I'm like, yeah, I'm probably gonna do the same thing. So why not? Yeah, I'm gonna play through it once, and then I'm never gonna play it again. No, I said, I said, I probably would play it, play it once, not even play through it, and be like, yeah. play it once, scare myself, and get off of it. That's how I did with uh, Slender. I died for the first time on Slender. I'm like, all right, well, I'm done. Which, which Slender? 
Uh, the original one, like okay. when it first came out. I played out. the Arrival. Oh! And when, I, that, when, <clears throat> okay, go ahead. Go ahead. The Slender games don't scare me at all. When me and Jacob were in, um... Boy, do we have the... Oh, okay, no, no, that was on the old channel. So... Uh, this was a oh, this man. was a story time commentary. There's so many good videos that I wish we didn't there was have a, to delete. I know this was a story time commentary that was on our original channel, and it was about something. Me, and my friend Colton, and um, Jacob all used to sit next to each other. It was two years ago, when we were in element, when we were in a middle school. We were in seventh grade. <clears throat> we'd always and hang we, out and check in. We'd all we we hung out on Xbox. We me and you hung out after school. I don't know. It just. Uh, I mean, I, I play football with him. But Tekken was our seventh hour, right? Yeah. So. It was our last hour, so we could screw around on the computers. And, like, we'd, uh, we'd play, um... Minecraft. We'd play Minecraft, we'd play stupid games on the computer. And the one game, uh, that everybody downloaded on all the school computers was Slender. The original Slender. And this was in... Two, this was in... It was the beginning of 2012. No. No, wait, wait, wait. 2013. No, it was the it was the end of 2012. Okay. It was the start of 2013, and um, we were playing to that. We were playing the original Slender. Although, did we have audio? I don't think we, we had, had audio. No. Yeah. And the audio wasn't working. No, no, wait. We had headphones. Oh, we did. And I put on the headphones, and I was sitting in class and I was playing uh, Slender. And I had never played it before, and all my friends were like, "Oh yeah, it's really cool. You gotta play it. It's 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 creepy." I'm like, "Yeah, okay, it's creepy, whatever. Like it's a game." And I'd never played a horror game before. And I oh, by the way, the these video. computers played it at like two FPS. So no, they didn't. They, I mean, yeah, the did. game played smooth. I mean, and uh, uh, Minecraft played 30 FPS, 25 FPS. Um, <clears throat> and yeah, we were sitting there, and I was playing it, and then the first time I got attacked by Slender, I like flipped the headphones off and screamed. In the middle of class, and like there were, Did everyone look at you? everybody looked yeah. at me, and like there were kids who were older than us, and it, it was embarrassing. My some, sister was some that barely spoke English, some that barely <laughs> spoke English, and my my tech ed teacher like walked up to me and was like, "Are you okay?" And I'm like, "Yeah, I just kind of crapped my pants." And then also my sister was in that class. Uh, she, I think she got out of that class at some point. I don't remember. If she was still in that class at that time. And that, you know, we did a lot of, cra you guys did a lot of crafting me in that class. No, wait, um, you and Colton, like, you guys traumatized me. I remember, yeah. Oh, yeah, we, we started telling about creepy pastas. So, <laughs> I'd never heard of a creepy pasta before, and this was, <clears throat> this, this was like two weeks after I put Slender. We give you nightmares from, uh, yep. Jeff the Killer. So, they told me about the, they showed me a picture of Jeff the Killer, and I was, like, really freaked out, and they're like, Oh yeah, this guy's real. He killed the kid with his dad, and and, uh, and yeah, he's, we, we, he's we, still. Yeah, we made him think that the whole the whole like um. Yeah, they showed me a was real. they they showed me a fake article, and my friend my friend Colton well, is really. If you don't know about Crazy Pasta, it's like pretty much a bunch of fan fiction on, yeah. on a website. And my friend Colton's really he's really intelligent, and he really he he's very he's a very convincing person, so he goes. Oh no, dude! He goes, look at the copyright on the bottom. He goes, this is this this website's updated. He goes, and look at the date on this uh, on this news article. He's still alive. He goes, and I'm like, no, it's got to be based on something fake. He goes, no, no, that's real. It's got to be completely real. And it was like he, he convinced me that it was a real thing, and I had nightmares. And like that night, I was like laying in bed, and I like kept my eyes open, and I consistently was like turning on my phone, flipping it up, and checking the room, and making sure, like, nobody was in there. And I didn't sleep all night, and we I also literally... You Smile Dog, didn't we? No, you guys didn't show me Smile Dog until, like, two weeks later. Oh, like, okay. I, I passed out in my bed. That's how bad I, it was. And, like, I wouldn't go to sleep until... We didn't even know I didn't go... I, I would go to sleep early, like, when it was still light out, or when everybody else's lights were on, so I could make sure that it was bright in my room, so I could go to sleep, or if I opened my eyes, I could make sure everything, and then I could fall asleep. I, I didn't actually know that it scared you that much. Like, it wasn't it was, even intentional I was a pansy. Like, it scared the crap out of me. Yeah, that was not intentional at uh, all. I, like, like, no, no, no. But you both tried to convince me it was a real thing. Colton convinced me really well, though, because he, just like, he was, because we had just learned about something about, um, if websites were like if they were like a liable resource and he was like he took it to a whole next level like he he completely like trolled with me he messed he messed with my head i actually believed it and i had it in my mind and i'm like and i showed i showed carl and he's like 
Yeah, that's dumb. He's like, it was like the week the week after you guys did that, and I was I was just getting over it, and then I was like, hey Carl, come here, look at this, and it, and I showed it to him, and he's like, that's so fake. I'm like, what do you mean? Wait, he goes, it's you, Photoshop. Did, didn't you show that to him while we were in an Xbox Live party? Yeah, I we were I showed playing Black Ops too. No, 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 I showed it to him at, at the theater camp, actually. Oh, I thought we were playing Black Ops. Yeah, we when me and him weren't in the theater camp anymore and our parents worked there still, and I was there, me and him were sitting there, and I went on my mom's computer, and me and him were sitting there, like, going through it, and he's like, dude, it's so fake. He goes, it's so Photoshop. And I, and I had just gotten over it. I'm like, oh, yeah, it's, it's fake. And, you know, I, I thought in my head, I'm like, I'm never going to get over this. I'm going to be scarred for life. I'm going to have this in my head for the rest of my life. And then I finally got over it eventually, like, later, like, a whole year. It's like, actually, no, it still bothers it was, it, was, it, was a, it was a month later, but, like, you still have consistent, like, thoughts, like, when you're sitting there and you're, you're like, you're laying there in bed and everything's, like, pitch so black. were you the kid who was afraid of the dark? No, 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 like, I still have consistent, like, thoughts when I'm in bed and, like, I, I open my eyes and it's, like, completely dark, like, just imagine seeing, like, two glowing eyes or, like, two, like... Completely white eyes, something creepy like that, just in the room. Like, just something creepy like that. I don't know. I, I imagine things like that. Mm. You're weird. I'm not, no, no, no I, I don't imagine it like I know, I, I'm on a normal daily day basis. It's just like nightmares and stuff. Yeah, we are. It's like, it, it's creepy though. It's creepy stuff that, that you have in your head. And you expect the worst, but it's like, Things like that can't happen. Like, you can't live to bleach your face and light it on fire and then, like, cut your eyelids off and, like, your eyes would wither out. Like, if, if you can't blink, you can't moisturize your eyes and then, you know, like, your eyes would, like, wither. Even though I haven't played the Five Nights at Freddy's games, I think, if, have you ever, like, what, um, her, like, actually, like, went into the backstory and the lore of, of Five Nights at Freddy's? Because there's actually, like, a huge backstory. And actually, the the um, whole thing is like kind of a parody of um, an actual like murder um, case at, a, at, Chuck at, at Chuck E. Cheese. Yeah, or like he took the kid out from the back. Yeah, yeah. Um, and also it expands it in a uh, Five Nights at Freddy's Two. And you know, Five Nights at Freddy's Two is actually a prequel. Yeah, I actually found that out because like the paycheck is lower, and like you know that that resembles um, that. If, it's if you have you ever do you know what Game Three is? Yeah, I watched. I watched that video. Did you watch the second video? Did yeah, you made one for it. Yeah. yeah, guys, I really recommend um, checking out the Game Theorists. That's the name of the channel. They have some awesome, awesome game theories. Yes, there. please advertise the other channels, Jacob. I'm sorry. I just I love the Game Theorists. It's awesome. Yeah, I, I mean, I think about it. you know Bullet Bills. How like even yeah. though how heavy they, they are and how they wouldn't kill the, yeah at how fast they, he did a similar video for I mean, it's, the, no but it is common sense of how fast they're going they're going so slow and they're so heavy there is a similar video he did um, that was about the Majora's Mask moon you know how like in Majora's Mask it, it's the moon is crashing to um, into um, a bird light I don't think it's it's not really bird, well, whatever it is yeah um, how that really wouldn't even kill anyone yeah it wouldn't because of how slow it's going yeah like, now I never really played Majora's Mask, but um, it's coming on 3DS next year, so I'm gonna get that. Majora's Mask is creepy though, cause like the moon's got a scary face. Like I always found that game scary. Like I, I remember I never, playing I it. To play it. I played it originally, and it was like so. The, I've seen that like the intro to the game, and then it's so like it, that game's so dark. Yeah, it is, and like that. The Legend of Zelda games have always had dark so, okay. stories. So something about Z well, Zelda not all. timeline is okay. So you know Ocarina of Time. Well, Majora's Mask is supposed to be like an alternate universe of the um, Ocarina of Time timeline in the timeline. So it's like in the timeline, Ocarina of Time and Majora's Mask are at the same point. They're happening at the same time because they're separate universes. Is that like Nintendo confirmed? That, no, that is on. So there's an official Nintendo book called it. Um, it's like H Hylian Historia. It's like a huge uh, Zelda encyclopedia, and there's a timeline there. Like Highland or Hyrule? Hi Hi Hylian. Hylian. Is that supposed to be like a species for Hyrule? Yeah. All right. It's like the race of uh, of, the of, of, of people the, from yeah of All people. Right. So it's the Highland Historia, and it's a it's pretty much an um, encyclopedia, and it actually has a full timeline, and um, so Majora's Mask and Ocarina of Time are happening at the same time. There's just they're just separate universes, so it's like an alternate. 
It's it's Bioshock Infinite fucker, pretty much. No, <laughs> Bioshock Infinite's ending. You cannot. That game, its that ending is terrible. Me so much. It's ending not, is I don't terrible. think it's terrible. I think no, like, it's not terrible. It's confusing. Like, if, guys, if you've played Bioshock Infinite, you know what we're talking about. The ending is a mind flub. Like, go look it up. The ending is See, a mind flub. The reason flub. they did that, I think it's because now they can... They can do anything with the series, and they can make as many games as they want. And the thing is, Bioshock doesn't have... Like, you can't say Bioshock, oh, Bioshock's first-person shooter based on... You can't say that, because it's been every... It's, it's been places. It's been underwater. It's been in a place in the sky. It can be, The next one could be World War II. The next one could be 50 years in the future. The next one could be 50,000 years in the future. I So, wait, but Bioshock Infinite is before even Bioshock 1, right? I don't... I don't know. I'm pretty sure the ending of the DLC in uh, in Bioshock Infinite leads right into Bioshock One. Oh, so they do have a connection. I if I remember, it's been a while since I played it, but if I remember, I think it leads right into Bioshock. Oh wait, one. yes, it does because um, when they go to Rapture, the the little girls start appearing and the big daddies start appearing. And you know how Bioshock Two ends? It. Yeah. Maybe wait. you shouldn't say it. Yeah, don't let's let's not say any endings, but we're not gonna say any endings. I never got to play all the way through Bioshock Two because it ca- like it doesn't work correctly in the game on PC. But the endings, all the endings, all the Bioshock games except for number one. Number one's ending is. I really like Bioshock One because I can speed on it, <laughs> and uh, without without using any sort of strategy or looking it up, I beat the whole game in four hours. I can beat Super Mario Bros. Wii in an hour. I've actually never beat some games. I can speedrun that game. I beat the Wii. I can speedrun the Wii version in an hour. And as unimpressive as that seems, you know, I'm actually going to put a timer on my phone. I'm going to sit down and I'm going to do the speedrun because I know all the shortcuts. I beat um, Portal in an hour. Portal. Oh, yeah, Portal 1. Wow. I, I, I did a play through on the channel. Did you? Yeah. And you did the entire game in an hour? It was a little, it was like an hour and like 15 minutes or something. Dude, that's impressive. We gotta, I gotta but get I've beaten it faster than that before. I've beaten Lego Star Wars 1 in 2 hours. I think. I think. There was... There is a thing... Obviously it's at any percent, right? It's not 100%. Well, yeah. I mean, no. I can 100%. You can 100%. I mean, um, Lego Star Wars 1 in like 3 hours. I mean, that game's way too easy to complete. You pretty much have to go through every level, find every mini kit, which there isn't all Wait, that. Lego Star Wars One is movies one through three. Right? Yeah, okay. and it's pretty easy to find all the mini kits. All the characters are pretty cheap once you play through all the stories. I mean, it's, the game's not hard to hundred percent. To be honest, the game's pretty easy. I mean, I'm never one hundred percent of the Lego game. I one hundred percent of Lego Batman. But I think it's just because I was I wasn't patient enough. It was it's just. I think I tried like uh, on 100 ing uh, Lego Star Wars two. I'm just I 100 percent in Lego Batman one. That tore me apart so badly for how upsetting it is. With is there any bonus for completing it? I don't remember. I just remember that the ending, like just playing through all the story, like all the all the levels, and getting all the mini kits. And, you know, doing all the missions, playing as the bad guys, doing all the stuff. It's just, I'm, I, it, it was just, even the Arkham games, doing the Arkham games, too. 100% in the Arkham games, I did Arkham I City. I that wouldn't be as bad. Arkham City and Arkham Origins. I 100% of both of those. It That's wasn't, it. it was so upsetting wow. for how much time I spent to do them both. And, <clears throat> I mean, it, it, it took did me. Did you do it without looking stuff up? I did it without looking stuff you don't have to look stuff up for the Arkham games. It's pretty easy. I mean, it's pretty self-explanatory when you when you. Is it just finding all the little or No, no, no. There's there's like side missions and there's so many side missions and. Like if you were to do it, um, Asylum, what would you have to do to? Um, you'd have to solve all the riddles, find all the Riddler trophies. Um, oh wait, yeah, yeah, yeah. For Arkham Asylum, it's find all the Riddler trophies, complete the story, um, do all the challenge maps, which is pretty easy. Um, not including the DLCs. And then I think that's it. You just have to find the Riddler trophies. So it's really just kind of playing it a lot. It's it's pretty much just doing all the challenge maps, completing the story, do all the riddles, find all the, the Riddler trophies. That's all you have to do. In get all the achievements. Uh no. Doesn't matter. I would say so. I would say that's part of I have all the achievements for um, 
Arkham City. I think I do. I'm pretty sure I do, except for the Nightwing ones. Um, Arkham City. I think I only have one game on like on for Xbox. I think I only have one game that like gotten on YouTube before, and I think that's Minecraft Adventures actually. I've done all of them as well. Because that's easy. True. Um, I think the hardest game to 100% would be. I usually um, don't 100% games. It. I would say I'm it would be a challenge to 100% Lego Star Wars three. If you can 100% Lego Star Wars 3 Wait, or Lego Batman Clone Wars? 3. Yeah, the Clone Wars. No, no, Lego Batman, Lego Star Wars 3, Lego Batman 2, Lego Batman 3, or Lego Indiana Jones 2. You know why it's hard to 100% Lego Batman 3? Why? Because you have body DLC. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, you do. Because I'm sure there's characters missing without it. There is No, there's character DLC. But it doesn't... See... Does it, the, so the, the, the Arkham there's games. A, there's an in game. Okay, so the Ar no, wait, wait. the Arkham games do that too, where you have their Bible. The Arkham Arkham City, you can choose to buy the Harley Quinn D Har Harley Quinn's Revenge DLC, and you can choose to buy the extra challenge maps and the extra Robin DLC and the Nightwing DLC and all whatnot. You still have to 100% complete those to get 100% on that, but you 100% complete the game when you 100% everything that's in the game. Um, that's how it works with Lego Batman 3. So there's still, an, in Lego Batman 3, is there still like an in-game um, percentage counter? Like yeah. there was in the other Lego games? Yeah. So, even if you don't have any of the DLC and you 100% it, it still says 100%? Yeah. And then if you buy the DLC, it still says 100%. So, if you... If they have like new missions and, and you already 100% it and you buy the DLC, does that mean like when you go... No, you don't go down a percentage. I would say would you go over 100 No. Or would it just not do it? It just wouldn't do it. Or do you think there would be a separate counter for the DLC? I think there'd be... For the Arkham games, there's a separate counter for the DLC. So, I'd say so. Mm. And you know what? That's kind of the point. That, that, that would actually make sense, though, to put an extra counter for the DLC. And I think people say... Oh, but when I unlock all the characters and I get everything done, it's not fun anymore. Well, you have to unlock the characters to do things. You need Green Arrow to do things. You, you know, need Grundy to do things. It would be really easy to 100% any of the Bioshock games, because all you have to do is collect all the voice lines. Well, Bioshock Infinite, you have to find all the sightseeing things, all the sightseer. Uh, the, you have to put your eyes into it. And you like oh, those, those two. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and you got to do uh, all the mini games with the front Oh, that's not uh, yeah, that's it. That's not as hard as some other games. Okay. I think, um, Monopoly... Oh, yeah, no, no, that doesn't have a... You know what's the count. biggest bitch to 100%? What? Skyrim. Skyrim? Cause Skyrim's an MMO... Uh, it's not GTA. MMO. Uh, yeah, GTA is annoying simply because you have to do... All the missions for every character. That's not even the... Then you have that's to buy not everything. Even, that's not even the hard part. You have to buy everything, don't you? have to you? buy everything, um... You have to build the spaceship thing. It's crazy. I don't even know how to do it. Um, you have to find all these like collectibles, and they're like really like I don't know. It's it's annoying. There's these. Um, you know. Oh, I played the drug mission with the aliens. By the way, that was funny. The one w when you're in Michael. You know. Okay, so that guy. There's a mission for every character for that guy. So Trevor has one as well, and Franklin has oh, one. Oh God. Franklin, you want you know what's really funny? You can You want me to tell you what Franklin's is? What? You go in, you go and start smoking, and he's just like, yeah, he just tosses it. Franklin? Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> is that supposed to be racist or is it supposed to be just saying that he's used to it? And like, is it Trevor is uh, clowns? Yeah. Zombie clowns or whatever. Yeah. Is it zombie clowns or is it just clowns? I don't know. I don't know. But like Franklin's just like he just he just shrugs it off. He's like, yeah, <laughs> like nothing happens. And like the guy's just like, whoa, what the fuck? <laughs> I like I like Michael's reaction. What just happened? Well, yeah, we no. start talking about this state, and then no, no, you're crazy. And he's like, I stay away from me. Oh my god, the I other, just I just played that today. The other day, the day I was hanging out with uh, Jeff, and I was like, I was like, wow, that was really blunt. And he goes, hey, hey. Stop talking about drugs in my school. And I'm like, what? He goes, stop talking about drugs. <laughs> he was going off. You no, know, there's a bong in um, Jimmy's room. Yeah, I noticed that in his video games and everything. Actually, uh, so only when he plays Michael, you can actually go in there. See, I was, I, I tried going in there as, Frank, as Franklin, and I, he yelled at me. You know, and I got. Uh, 
Okay, I just I'm kind of gonna have to spoil something if you haven't gotten this far. It's not nothing too big. Well, there's a scene where Michael smashes uh Jimmy's TV. Okay. Yeah, and then you gotta run to the you gotta bike but, to the pier. Uh, okay. After you already do that mission, and it's like before you buy him a new TV. I don't know if you end up buying him a new TV in like you the last scene. But if you go back t into his room, where in his TV is still smashed, obviously he can't play video games. So guess what he's doing? He's just sitting on his bed, doing his using his bomb. <laughs> Jimmy. But if you're at, if there's a time where Jimmy isn't there though, and you can go into his room, it's you can his bomb. You can use his bomb. <laughs> And in Franklin's... Wait, 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 what drug does bong, does a bong use? I don't know. What drug is that? I don't know. Like, I don't know. In, like, in you, like when people... Like, I used to think you smart, you snort marijuana, and people were like, you don't snort marijuana. I'm like, well, what are you doing? And they're like, you smoke it. I'm like, I don't know that. I don't know about drugs. Like, people expect me to know about this stuff. I'm like, I don't, I don't do drugs. I don't know about this stuff. But, um... So, when you're still in Franklin... Like, when Franklin's safe house is still his aunt's house... You can go when it, it when it's Oh yeah, his aunt's a jerk. You, you can you can sit on the couch and smoke weed. Smoke weed every day. But then later in the game, I don't know if you know this, but later in the game you buy a house. Oh yeah, no no no. I remember when you were, when you had the 360 version, you showed me the house. Oh okay. It's the one that kind of looks like um, the Michaels. I'm like it's pretty sure it's in Vinewood. Yeah, it's it's in Vinewood. It's it's by the no wait it's it's by that uh chick that uh, the tennis player goes over her her house. I like when you take down the guy. You take down the guy's house with the truck, and she's like, "That is my house." And he's like, "Oh crap!" Yeah, the whole the reason the whole you know you understand the whole reason you're doing anything in the game is simply because you took the house down. You need to pay for it. That's the whole reason anything happens in the game. Well, it's the whole reason anything happens to Michael. Well, nothing else would have would have happened. None of this shit would have started. I don't think he ever would have met Trevor again. I don't think any of this shit would have ever. He meets Trevor again? No, I'm just kidding. I know Trevor's on the different. I didn't know that's why he needs him. I, oh yeah, he needs Lester because of that. Because he needs Lester's help. Well, well Lester's like, oh, still living in Los Santos. He calls him. Yeah. Well, no, because is it him, Lester, and Trevor, the ones who did the heist at the beginning of the game? Wait, what? Well, I, Lester was like the planner. He wasn't actually... Who's the guy? Who's the... the okay, the it was third Trevor. It was, it was Trevor, Michael, and uh, it was like Brad. Brad died, didn't he? Brad, Brad is dead. He's gone. But Trevor doesn't. Trevor still thinks he's alive, and uh, um, something you got. You actually got to read your emails through the whole thing. But when you when you play Trevor, Trevor, you get emails from Brad, quote unquote, from, and he's in prison apparently. But is, uh, it, later you find out that it isn't actually him. It's actually uh, I don't remember who was actually emailing him, but someone was fake emailing as Brad to Trevor. Isn't there something about um, like Michael's mother and? Um Trevor? No, it's Trevor's mother. Trevor's mother and Michael. No. His, his, like, there's, there's a Freaks and Weirdos mission where you meet your mom. His point when you're playing as Trevor. Yeah, there's... I remember, I, I remember seeing a video where, like, he gets mad at somebody because they're dating his mom or something. Uh, Isn't there, like... I don't know. There was, like, a... It was, yeah, it was yeah, a yeah. I don't remember who it was, though. There's a video I saw a long time ago, like, when it first came out for 360 that I was watching. It was, like, weird side... It was, like, Freaks and Weirdos mission or something like that. Well, he, he like, goes out of his way to do stuff for his mom. Yeah. And he's like, you better be nice to her. Don't hurt her. Or it was it was something back when the game first came out. I don't... I don't honestly, it was so long ago. I don't know. So long. I have uh, in my new playthrough on the Xbox One version. I haven't unlocked Trevor yet, so I don't know. Neither have I. <laughs> anyway, uh, we're running out of time here, actually. <clears throat> All right. Well, uh, dink. Yeah. Well, I that went by really fast. Yeah, it really did. Kind of enjoyed that. Yeah. If only we could extend it further, but we're not going to. I hope you guys enjoyed it. No, okay. Well, I mean there. We might as well not stretch it on by saying nothing to an hour. We should, we should just end it now, unless you, for, unless you have something else to say, or forever hold your peace. <laughs> well, are we getting married? No. You may kiss the bride. <laughs> no, no, don't you come near me. Keep those lips with yourself, boy, you nasty. Okay. Oh, that's nasty. Oh, that's nasty. That's nasty. Okay, everybody, hope you enjoyed the podcast. I'll see you guys in my next video thingy, my Bob. Get nasty. Bye. Bye.